What is up guys, it's Super Kevin from Super Kevin Game. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a comment saying hi, thumbs up, like the video already. Welcome to episode 8 of Super Ken Play Skyrim. When we last left off, we were about to go home, take our blood back to its rightful owner. A world map, please. Look at all these undiscovered caves and such. Let's go back to this castle. All this, all the Skyrim I've yet to discover, even though I've platinumed this game. Who would have thought? Who would have thought creators were so brave enough to create things and not force you to do them? For trophies. Skyrim creators are one of those creators. I don't need any of these stones activated. Let's go back to our gargoyle home. Vampire seduction added. That's what I've been searching for my whole life. <laughs> Vampire seduction. As if, as if I wasn't strong enough s seducing. I've got the vampire seduction on my side. I just want to meet Count Chocula and eat all, all of this chocolate cereal. Hurry up and clear fog. I don't have all year. Although, I do have forever to wait. Because I'm a vampire. It'd be so nice to be a vampire, to never be in a rush. You're gonna live forever, pretty much. Just take your time. No need to worry about doing anything. What's up? I see you have returned. Lord yeah, th Harkon will be pleased. They tried you to kill me. Well, of course they did. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Vingalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne but cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our lord, you have increased his power over them and at the same time, deprived them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. I will talk to him. Bloodstone chalice is complete. There's plenty for all. The prophet. Where's Hark Harkon at? Up these stairs, of course. On the door. Ah, you are here. Good. You wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. Great. I gave. I became a vampire and you didn't tell me everything? And now why are you going so sluggish? I suspected as much. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind will serve you as well as blade, spell, or I didn't really suspect it. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. We're not taking Until the sun recently, out. Recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. 
I believe Sunscreen? the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come now, and hear my proclamation. We're about to create some ancient sunscreen. Save the vampires from the sun. If you'd walk faster. Put a little pep in your step. Science of the night, hear my words. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself and forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now no. that I have reclaimed one of my elder scrolls, we, can have both. we must find a moth priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a Moth Priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a Moth Priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now, and carry out this task. This is my command. Hmm, will be done, my Most Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Where would a moth priest actually go? Well, back before I... You know... The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things of that course. people probably shouldn't know about. Good idea. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along well, with you. Well, I've been really well, wanting to get out and explore a bit. She wants it. I'm surprised. I didn't even think you knew what a book was, my Let's go. You'll do well to watch that. Let's go find this moth priest. Elf. And you do well to be more careful of whom you engage in witty banter. Hello there. Do I? How am I gonna find this dude? Do I really have to search the entire Skyrim world for a moth priest? Holy man, I forgot you guys lived in this era. Where do you get those extra tusks, though? Giant beast. They probably have a lot of blood. Now I have to go hunt the mammoths for their delicious blood. Their delicious mammoth blood. If you have too many quest targets, something. Don't want to kill a dragon. Let's go to Winterhold. Talk to these guys. It's not really optional. You tell me it is, but I need to know about about these moths, these moth priests, and where they would be located, where they live. What they do with their magic.
into the Hall of Elements. This this is where all the wizards live. Release so many, so many doors to go through. The Arc mages must know where the moths are. If they don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I go upstairs. Wait, is this what I want to do? No. I want to go up the other stairs. Oh no, I want to go downstairs. So confusing. So many markers. I tried to take the dragon markers off, but they're not leaving. That's all I want. Here we go. Tell me about the moths. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. I, I need to find a moth priest. A moth priest? What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? My business is my own. Just tell me what I need to know. Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. Well, you're... The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priest make their home in the white gold tower. White gold Sometimes tower. they go out looking for elder scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. Dragonbridge. Alright. Let's go to Dragon Bridge. Didn't want to do that. I don't know if I can fast travel from inside of this place. I'll try. Because these load screens are too much for me to handle. back. Yeah, I can't do it. Alright. Open the Skyrim. Fast travel from here. Don't know where Dragon Bridge is, though.
I'm going to try to get to Dragon Bridge. Before I do that, I'm going to end episode 8 of Super Game Play Skyrim. There, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video, and tune in tomorrow, episode 9. Whoa. What's going on? I don't know what happened there. Episode 9 of Super Ken plays Skyrim. But. Let's go to Dragon Bridge first. Is this it? Yes. What well, enemies nearby? I don't see an enemy. Oh, a dragon. Oh, a legendary dragon! I'm gonna take this legendary dragon out on the next episode of Super Can Play Skyrim. Thanks for watching.